Alrighty, it is now February 4th of 2020, and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans have been wondering exactly what Disney has in store for the future of the franchise when it all comes down to the character of Luke Skywalker. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one aspect of the new Star Wars universe that a lot of fans are very much on edge over is exactly how the Skywalkers will be treated. Now, I don't know if you guys know exactly what in the world I'm talking about when it comes down to this new universe. Basically, this new universe is going to be the books, the novels, the comics, the video games, and everything related to it in that sense that's really going to give fans a better idea of exactly where things are going and where they are actually moving forward. Now, with that being said, obviously we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm, they are trying to fix elements of the Star Wars franchise and especially of the character of Luke in the form of this new expanded universe. Now, back in the 90s and back in the early 2000s, we had the old EU, which really was big and really could have been a library's worth of material. And when we look at everything related to Luke in the old EU, there's a lot of things that fans loved. But there's also some aspects that fans did not like. Uh, but nothing near to what the fans dislike of Luke in The Last Jedi and how he was actually portrayed in the sequel trilogy overall. Now on top of all of this, what's rather intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe and moving on toward new projects that will focus on a brand new mythology for the franchise, many fans have been wondering what they have in store for the Star Wars community. It's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm have come to a conclusion to bring on creator George Lucas to be involved and to have a say in the matter on a creative level on the new Star Wars universe, and that George Lucas is said to be helping them with the new Star Wars universe that they are developing. One aspect that George Lucas is said to be working on is the character of Luke Skywalker and that many changes are being made to the character in the new EU to fix aspects of the character that many people did not enjoy. It's noted that one of the big changes that George Lucas is making to the Disney canon is that George, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni have been coming up with a plan to develop a story about Luke Skywalker's family, such as his son and his wife, that will be explored in the new expanded universe that will be modeled after the old one from the 90s and the 2000s. It's explained that this, this is George's way to save the character of Luke Skywalker and to make him modeled after the old EU version of Luke, and that they are trying their best to make this work. There has been talk that this will be a story about the tragedy of Luke's family, and that it will be a story that will show exactly how Luke Skywalker as a person evolved over the years, and that though Luke is different in the films, they want to make him appear as he did years ago in the comics and the books from the 90s and the 2000s. Not just that, but George is said to be pitching ideas for the young Luke Skywalker TV series that is currently in early development that will be modeled after the new universe by Disney. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this really is a big deal and I think why this really is a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, George Lucas obviously say what you will about him with the prequels, but he really is a visionary. He really is. When you look at the prequels, we got new ships, we got new worlds, we got new creatures. I mean, what's not to like, really? I mean, the story, you know, of course, was a little clunky. The dialogue was a little out there, obviously. Uh, I would say that The Phantom Menace and The Last Jedi are probably the lowest rated Star Wars films. Maybe The Last Jedi and Attack of the Clones? You know, it's, it's either one of those two in combination. So, when we look at everything related to what George Lucas developed for the prequels, there are aspects in there that I really do enjoy. And let's not forget that the old EU, George Lucas approved many of those ideas of what could work and what could not work. And so, what he approved just shows us that he actually knew what he was doing with how Luke should be used in the expanded universe many years ago. So, the fact that Disney's trying to fix the character of Luke, what does this really mean? Well, it seems like that this is going to be more catered toward the hardcore fan base, right? Because this is going to be a decision made by Disney and Lucasfilm in order to really change the character of Luke, to really give him a different side. And by exploring his family, the tragedy of Luke Skywalker's family, such as his son and his wife, 
and what George, John, and Dave are trying to do, it really tells us, the fans, that what they're trying to do is that they're trying to really emulate what they did decades ago with the books and the novels, right? Whether or not it's going to work really all depends on its execution and whether or not it's going to be accurate to the old one. Now, obviously, it's going to be different because this is going to focus, apparently, on the tragedy of Luke's family. So, obviously, that will explain as to why we don't see his family in the movies and why we don't see, you know, an extended Skywalker family member that's connected to Luke and his wife in the Skywalker, you know, sequel trilogy. That's probably why they're doing this because they want to explain exactly how Luke evolved and why there are no, you know, uh, sons or daughters of Luke in the new sequel trilogy films. So with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.